All right, so talk to us about some of those best practices when we're pulling samples. What I mean, how what do we pull them with? How do, where do we store them? All those kinds of things. Uh, what what are some things you've seen? Yeah, yeah, that's the first thing I tend to think about when I think about taking my soil samples is consistency is king. So think about one of the things we want to do. We want to compare year to year. And so, you know, if one year you're taking five inch samples and the next year you're taking 10 inch samples, that's, that's not going to give you a great comparison. So they typically say in that six to eight inch range is going to be a, a good recommendation. And, you know, you can do this with a, a standard manual soil probe. They do make mechanical ones out there as well. It costs a little more, but um, definitely easier on the uh, sampling technique. Um, these samples don't necessarily need to be frozen or anything like that. I think it's a good idea to keep them out of direct sunlight and ship them, ship them pretty quick to when you take them. You know, things like nitrate levels can change. And if you're thinking about SCN eggs, these things can dry out um, if you wait too long. So again, consistency, just treating these things like the biological entities that they are. These are going to really go a long way in giving you some consistent results that you can have good comparisons with. 